Hello VPro members. Today we're going to be going through Subaru as well as the various modules that we're going to show you here on the bench related to the immobilizer system. So one of the downfalls with some of the newer Subarus out there that uses this type of key or even the smart key is when you have an all keys lost situation, in a lot of cases, you're not able to add a key. The dealers are also not able to add a key through the OBD. And that's because the system requires a registered key in order to be able to add a new key. So if you have customers who lost their keys for their Subaru, or if you're a Subaru owner and you lose one of these keys and you would go to the dealer, the only option they have for you in a lot of cases is they would have to replace several of these modules which would cost you upwards of two thousand dollars in order to obtain new keys and again that's because the way that the subaru software was implemented was in order to add a key onto the system you would need to turn on the vehicle with a registered key to allow you to add a key that way otherwise if you do not have a registered key the only way to make it work is to replace one or two or three, in a lot of cases, three different modules. Some cases, the instrument cluster, the immobilizer unit, you have the BIU, the body integrated unit, and as well as sometimes the ECU as well because the immobilizer unit and the ECU unit has a synchronization code between each other. So this all would run you upwards to $2,000 if you would go through the dealer. And so at VPro, we are actually able to extract the key information from the respective module and create a key for it. And that's what we're gonna show in this video, the process that we go through for that. So here you can see the keys that we talked about earlier. The first generation of these keys is known as the G-chip system, these style remote head keys. The next one is the H-chip system. And then some of the latest ones come with these PROX key systems and all these three have this common software of requiring a registered key in order to add a key onto the system. You have the instrument cluster here, you have the smart fuse box, and again, in some cases, they have to replace this unit as well. You have the various immobilizer ECU units. This one we bought just recently for a vehicle and it cost us close to $400 for one of them. So you can imagine this can range actually from 200 in some cases to 400. The rest of the modules, much more expensive. Here we have what's called the BIU, the body integrated unit. And over here, we have the various ECUs, depending on the make, model, and year. So this is from a 2018 Impreza. You have this one here, and you have this ECU as well. So today we have an Impreza all keys lost situation that uses the G-chip system. And all we requested from the customer is to send us the body integrated unit. And the reason for that is what we're able to do is we're able to open up this board, find the target IC, and we like to say extract the data. Some people say we hack into the system, but we actually extract the key information from that target IC. And then we would inject the new key data into that component and then solder it back on. And that's how we actually are able to add a key onto these systems. Otherwise, if you would use a factory tool, you're not able to do this. And that's because it goes through a Subaru proprietary software that requires you to have a registered key in order to be able to add a key. So if you had to go through the dealer, they would tell you the only option would be to replace the cluster, fuse box, mobilizer unit, BIU in some cases, ECU in some cases. And again, it all depends on the make, model, and year, but you are looking at at least $1,500 for replacing a key that you lost or you misplaced at home. And of course you need a key to get up and running. So next onto the video, we are going to show you how we work on this module right here.
coincidentally, we had a Subaru Crosstrek towed in close to 200 kilometers away because one of the local programmers tried to program a key onto the system and they used some aftermarket tools and unfortunately it bricked the vehicle and the vehicle wouldn't start anymore. And so they heard about us and they towed it all the way here. And the reason for that is because instead of sending it to the dealer, they would have had to replace several modules, including the cluster, the ECU, the mobilizer unit, and the fuse box in some cases. And so what we are able to do here in VPro is we're actually able to renew, or another term is virginize, or make brand new again in terms of the software, several of the components components such as the ECU, the cluster, and that way we're able to save customer a lot of money because that way you don't need it to be replaced. And that's what we did with this vehicle here. One component we had to replace was what's called the mobilizer box. And we're gonna show you where that's located because these cannot be renewed as of today. And so this cost us close to, I would say $400 for this part. And it is a tricky spot to find, but we will show you where that is. And this is actually located and depending on the make and model of the Subaru and the year, it's typically either located behind the blower motor that's behind the glove box, or in some cases between the heater core and the firewall and the center console or in the center dash. And a lot of times these are really, really painful to remove. And the dealers typically quote six to seven hours to replace this part as a labor because they have to remove the whole dash in order to reach to these parts. But next, we're gonna show you where this is located on a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. All right, so this is the immobilizer box right here, part number 88205FL102. And we're gonna show you where that is located. So right there, right behind the glove box and we managed to reach to that without the need to remove the glove box or remove the blower motor and able to replace that unit with a brand new unit and program it to synchronize with the rest of the modules in this vehicle. So we're gonna show you how we got this vehicle up and running for the customer, saving them at least a thousand dollars or even more key. And again, this is the H chip key you can see. And there you have it, repaired a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek where a local programmer attempting to program a new key corrupted the software in this vehicle. And this could happen in the G-Chip system as well. And we have the capability of fixing that if necessary. So if you have a Subaru system and you have one of these following DTCs in the vehicle, that basically means that the synchronization code between several of the modules in the vehicle has been compromised and the vehicle will not start again until you either replace the modules and reprogram it or use our service to synchronize them back together. So when this vehicle came in and we scanned the vehicle, we had DTC code B as in Bob 1401 and that trouble code refers to meter collation invalid. And so if you have that DTC, then you know that you have a bad synchronization between the modules. Some other DTCs that you come across with the older Subarus or the Imprezas or the Legacy is either if it's a G chip or an H chip system is the B1572 communication malfunction immobilizer CM to ECU. And again, we came across this on a 2017 Subaru Impreza. We came across this on a 2015 Subaru Legacy. And again, if any programmers use a low end or they don't know what they're doing, their risk of causing this corruption to the software, which then the original v key does not work with the vehicle and you're stuck. So if you do come across this type of issue, contact us at www.vpro.ca. We're gonna put a link onto the description on the several services that we offer for Subaru, or you can email us at info at vpro.ca and let us know the situation that you're in and we're gonna guide you through and also advise you which components and where they're located so that you can mail it into us for service. So in this video, we explained to you the fact that with Subaru systems, you are required to replace the modules when going through the dealership if it's an all keys loss situation or if you have a synchronization issue between modules. But here at VPro, we're able to actually assist without the need to replace modules in a lot of 
lot of cases or replace at least fewer modules than what the dealer would do. And so if you're an owner of a Subaru, if you're a shop with a client that lost their keys, or if you're a Subaru yourself, we actually do work with several Subaru dealerships, local as well as out of town, who mail us modules for service. So if you are a parts manager, service manager at Subaru watching this video, hopefully it's informative as for the rest of you and hopefully you can use our service. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share. And as always, hopefully you learned something and until next time, take care.